الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us with the divine purpose of worshiping him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala Allahu tabarak wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem. Wa ma khalaftu al-jinn wa l-ansi lali ya'budun. I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala along with that has emphasized that that ibadah is to him and him alone he prohibits shirk he prohibits disbelief and he subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes that all forms of worship that we need to be concerned with all forms of worship and that is directed to him subhanahu wa ta'ala not only is it our divine purpose but it requires action and that this was the call of the Anbiya. This was the call of all the Prophets alayhim afadal salatu was salam that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has said fi kitabi al-kareem amongst the many ayat wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rusulin in ni'budullaha wa jtanibu ta'gud that we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things worship besides Him. So it requires amal. The religion requires for us, requires from us that we actually put those that worship into action. That it's a active, that ibad is active. And that Iman is comprised of belief in the heart and actions of the limbs and actions of the tongue meaning to speak khair to say the shahada to make a dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our tongues all of that's iman all of those things make up iman so this is the creed of the mu'min and this is the creed indeed of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty, Azza wa Jal, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala Nabiya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi, wa sallam.